Hi guys, my name is Ashley Hatcher and I am the Director of Franchise Development over at Neat Method. I hear that you've been dying to know how we get that file fold in all of our clients' homes achieved pretty perfectly. So I'm here to teach you how to fold practically everything. There's a ton of categories, so I'm just gonna get right in it um, and get started. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna start with is a t-shirt. So I always put my shirts face down. I fold in on one side about a third of the way. And I make sure that when I go to fold that other side in, that I'm folding it in about exactly the same width usually the center meets up quite a bit and this is all standard folding so far right you fold that up this is like you normally would fold the only difference with file folding a t-shirt is that you're going to fold it in half again giving you that fold here that you can stand all of your shirts up with when you have a long sleeve shirt it's basically the same thing you've just got to deal with the sleeves so if i'm going to start with Folding it in, still about a third of a way, give or take. That might change a little bit based on the size of the shirt. I'm then gonna fold this in at an angle and lay the sleeve down flat. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side where I'm folding in the same distance. I'm taking that sleeve, I'm laying it diagonally at an angle and getting it flat. I'm going to fold it up like I normally would, and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And the idea is, if you have consistently been folding it in about the same amount, you're not only gonna have a nice fold here, but you're also gonna have them end up being the same width um, as well, which is great and what we want, because then when you're standing everything up, you get that nice, pretty look that you um, always see in all the file drawers. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is active wear. So I'll start with active tops. And I always like to say that anything, I picked this top particularly because it has this like slinkiness and it has the straps. So deal with the straps first. I always fold them in towards the body to give me that nice crease of a line. And then from here, I'm gonna fold in. This particular shirt bows in, has a curve. So I wanna let that come in so that it's almost creating like a, a rectangle effect for me. And once I have that as my bones, I can then fold in half and then fold in half again, just like normal and you're gonna have that file right here at the end of the day, okay? Now, for workout pants, I'm going to start with tucking this portion in, that little triangle piece that's sticking out. I'm gonna take my legs, I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the, uh, to the top here, fold it in half, and then I'm going to go in thirds. And I typically start from the top and work my way down. So I'll fold it in third there. And then I'll fold it in third again. I've got my nice crease. I like to run my fingers across the top of the fold there so that it kind of squares it out and makes the fold look even prettier. And while we're on the subject, the same thing would happen with my jeans. If I were folding jeans into a drawer, I'm gonna tuck this in, I'm going to fold it up halfway, I'm going to start from the top and fold it down a third, and then I'm gonna fold it in a third again to give me that nice clean line. The reason I start with the top on the pants that go into the drawer, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if I fold it in a third from the bottom right here, and then I attempt to fold it in a third again, what you see instead is the folded, uh, the, the pocket, and that's totally fine. Some jeans are distinguished by their pocket details. If you want a very clean look that doesn't show anything like that though, then starting from the top will allow you to eliminate that. So again, think thirds when we're thinking in a drawer. To fold your jeans 
On a shelf, however, slightly different, slightly easier. I start with my stuff all laid one on top of each other. I fold this in half. And then I simply just fold it in half again. And I don't worry so much about tucking this part in because it's sitting on a shelf and that's not gonna matter so much. In a drawer, you want it to be a little bit boxier so that it's taking up less space, but on a shelf, it's not that big of a deal. The other thing you'll notice is I kind of do like, I, it's almost like I'm pinching down just ever so slightly while I run my fronts around and that's just to create sort of that nice clean boxy effect that you're used to seeing in a retail store. It makes your closet feel that much more put together. All right. So let's talk a little bit about undergarments and we'll start with just the men's boxer and for these I like to see these guys go into thirds and then into thirds again. And you can either start from the bottom up or the top down, as I've said. Um, but you know, the key is if you're not going to file fold and you're going to lay your underwear in a layered effect, starting from the bottom and folding up allows you to see the top of the band, which usually gives you the brand. So this would be an example of a pair of underwear for men. And then for ladies, I'll focus on the sports bra because sports bras often give us a little bit of a headache sometimes. So again, remember what I said, always deal with the straps first. So I'm gonna fold my straps into the body of the sports bra. I'm then going to take my sports bra and I'm going to fold it into thirds by going here and then folding it again down. And I am going to stand these up one right back after the other. You still have your fold nice and smooth there and you can file it in a lot easier and be able to pull it out when you need it. Sweaters. Your sweaters are actually folded quite similarly to how you fold a long sleeve shirt. It's just a different material. So again, I'm gonna bring everything in about a third of the way. I'm going to deal with my sleeve. I'm going to bring this in the rest of the way. I'm gonna deal with my sleeve. What I will say is for sweaters, I generally fold these in half and put them onto a shelf if you did want to put this into a drawer, you would then at that point, like a long sleeve shirt, you could either fold it in half here. Um, it will make it a little bit bulkier, so you only wanna do this if you really have enough drawer space. Um, if you're looking to make it a little bit thinner, then rather than folding it in half, you can prep it with your sleeves and get to this point, and then you can fold it in thirds here. You'll just wanna make sure that you check the height of your drawer before you do that because it does make this a little bit taller. All right, guys, we are almost done. We got just a couple more things. The hoodie. So with the hoodie, deal with your hood first, flatten it out as much as you possibly can, and then from there, it's business as usual with the long sleeve shirt, right? It's just a little bit thicker. So again, in third here, a third here. Again, this is something that I would absolutely recommend going on a shelf, in which case I would just fold it in half, but because this is the file folding lesson, again, if I'm gonna file fold this into a drawer, I would use a deeper drawer and I would fold it into thirds to try to make sure that I'm eliminating that bulk as much as I possibly can. All right, so for our final category, uh-oh, some folded guys wanna make their way back in the picture. All right, so for pajamas, right? If you have pants or top, fold them the way that we did them the other way. If you have a set, the one thing that I would say is for your pants, once you've got this tucked in, you fold this in half. I generally fold this into thirds there. I lay my top face down and I put my pants right here in the middle. I fold in 
I fold in, I fold up here, and then I roll that top down so that it's all encapsulated and all you see is this right here. All right, guys, so that is it. That's literally how all of our neat owners across the US and Canada are file folding in all of our client homes. If you have any questions, leave a comment, reach out. We'd be more than happy to help. Otherwise, happy folding.